Hey everyone, Andrew 5.0. We're back playing Need for Speed Heat. Today, we're looking at getting a little bit better performance out of our off-road vehicle. I just recently hit rep level 47, which opened up some Elite Plus parts. Uh, but the next off-road races are getting up well above 300 level. So we're going to go out and check out another car at the dealership. I'm thinking the Porsche Panamera, just so we get a little bit more base performance to build on. That being said, let's hop on out of here and head over to the dealership. are back at the dealership. Let's drive on in the front door and go find our Porsche Panamera. As you get above this uh, performance level, there's not a whole lot of off-road choices to go. You got the Mercedes AMG back there. The Porsche Panamera is pretty neutral. I'm hoping this is going to be OP just like it was back in Payback. Uh, otherwise, beyond that, there's not really a whole lot of choices as far as what you consider an actual off-road vehicle. This thing rips. Let's get it back to the garage and do a little customization with it. Somebody's Started got out at 218. Um, can't remember what the uh, BMW was. I think it actually might have been a little bit higher. This may or may not gain me a whole lot. But let's give it a shot anyway. A lot of choices for rear fenders. Again. Splitters, cards, nope. Hmm. I figure they'd have some off road, uh, off road pieces for this considering the way this was in the last game. Pretty surprised. Maybe it was a licensing issue. Licensing issue. Porsche didn't want them to mess with it too much. Man, I'm not gonna be able to do a whole lot with this to make this look off-roady. Stock exhaust actually looked pretty decent for those cutouts. Customization. 
I was hoping for some off-road options. That really doesn't look too off-roady. Well, let's see what we can find for wraps. Jump to the community. Hmm. It's pretty off-roady. I'd like to modify that a little bit. Too much gold. Come on, something that screams, take me off-road. Hazard Company. There we go. Throwback to payback. Not the coolest looking wrap, but it definitely screams take me off road. Do like that. That's all we're going to find for Take Me Off Road. <sighs> Camels look kind of cool, but eh, just not totally feeling it. Yeah, Hazard Company it is. Alright, let's find some rims for this thing. looking rims. It's like they're low definition or something. Not a fan. I think I have those on my C10 pickup. so I don't have to waste money on that. Tires. I'm not going to go super off-road aggressive. Should change the stance a little bit once we put some off-road stuff on here. and the differential tires uh, give you a little boost in height. I really cannot believe with the way this thing performed in payback that they didn't give us more off-road liveries. Pretty shocked.
Not Rocket Bunny. I didn't see any Rocket Bunny on there. Works. And the usual. Running too long, so let's go to performance real quick and throw some off road suspension on here. Got at it. We're gonna have to go speak. Wow, we can't even. Whoa, I went the wrong way. With the suspension here. What did I do? What did I do? Speed cross. That's not what I want. Rally. What am I thinking? I don't want a drifter. Totally went the wrong way there. That's better. Now the off-road tires will make do what I want it to do. There we go. So much better. There. That looks like it might go off-road. Would be nice for some different bumpers, different side skirts. But I think they'll do. Alright, thanks for watching.